Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Thursday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, lo, I am with you all always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this morning isn't that great isn't that mighty my beloved and friends that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making, yes, in this sick and sinful world, he says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come thy thy dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give him a big hand. God bless you, me. Sincerely from my heart, I release that very special blessing upon your life today. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless that child that you have. God will bless your children. He will bless your finances, bless your business. He will bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand for that today, for that very special blessing. I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus today, and I build a hedge around on your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today beloved and friends every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blacks generational curses where the first second third or fourth generational curse I break and I destroy in the name of Jesus. I break every chain, I break every barrier, every generation of curses, whether for second third or fourth generation of curse. I break, I reverse in Jesus' name every curse that was pronounced upon your life. I destroy under the blood of Jesus and I reverse in the name of Jesus. For whom the Son set free is free indeed. Every chain is broken, every barrier is broken, every fit that is broken in Jesus name let's give a big hand hallelujah please the chain breaking door being set you free today and you are free in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus said in his words healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities and chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name all those who are listening online are healed in Jesus name those who will be listening from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean any part of Europe or the world today you are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, today I pray, dip this mortal man of clay. Dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Heal my body from every virus. Every sickness, every germ, every cold, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words today, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work 
of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus yes Lord as I minister today in the name of Jesus today my friends and beloved God God holds your today and your tomorrows yes he holds every minute and every second and every hour and every day of your life so do not worry today do not worry in the name of Jesus do not worry my friends we've all had to contend with uncertainty sometime or the other in our life yes at one time or another in our lives my friends and beloved, you can only be one of you two camps. You can be in the camp that houses fear, anxiety, and stress. And friends, you can be and, and worry. And you can be in the camp that trusts the Lord. The Lord, the camp, the camp that trusts God's God's promises today. Yes, because when you face uncertainty, when you face uncertainty, yes, and you can either worry about it or trust God about it and it and believe right now I believe right now in the day and age if you look at our current affairs there is a, there are plenty of reasons for people to be worried and anxious it's all because of the things that are uncertainty there are uncertainty when it comes to the economy yes there are uncertainty my friends when it comes to the world peace yes there are uncertainty in so many many different areas of our life but there's the thing today there is a thing today there's what the Bible says in Matthew Matthew chapter 6 it clears it tells us 31 to 34 it says therefore do not worry do not worry say what you shall eat or what you shall drink or what you shall what you shall wear yes or, or after all these things the Gentiles do seek for your he heavenly father knows that you need all these things yes but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yes beloved and friends and all these things all these things shall be added unto you hallelujah therefore do not worry do not worry today therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day beloved and friends it's it is its own trouble it has its own trouble and so when you face the old adversary called uncertainty my friends remember that God is in control remember that Jesus is with you and if he is with you then you no one can be against you when uncertainty comes my friends remember that although we may not know what tomorrow holds Jesus Christ Jesus Christ does remember that although we do not know what tomorrow holds my friends we know who holds tomorrow isn't that awesome although we do not know what threats what enemies what problems we will encounter in the future Jesus Christ is now and will always be be a provider my friends he is he is always he will always be an almighty almighty protector isn't that awesome my friends yes since I want to encourage you today yes I want to encourage you today to, to trust in the Lord who does not trust in the almighty trust in the omnipotent one that is unknown to us to is known to him today what is uncertainty to us my friends yes is known to him what is uncertainty is already certain to him he knows all he he orchestrated it all my friends he planned it all yes and so that everything everything so that everything will work out for your good in the end hold on to what the Psalms 91 verse 14 says and 15 it says because he has set his love he has set his love yes and says
sin is because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He sh I shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Hallelujah. Praise God. I will deliver him, said the Lord, and honor him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If, if you, when uncertainty comes to you, remember that Jesus Christ is watching over you. He is the one to guide you, my friends. Yes, our God will be the one to lift up a when you will fall. Yes, my friends, he will preserve you during time of uncertainty. Yes, he will keep you in his loving arms. Isn't that awesome? Yes, in his loving arms, he will give you his, give his angels charge over you. Yes, he is a God that will protect you, my friends so that in misfortune may fall you. you. Now let us together go in prayer today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's pray. The Father to the Lord God, the Lord, I pray for every person today. I pray for every person in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, who are wrestling with anxiety when it comes from uncertainty. May the Holy Spirit impress upon their spirit the need, the safety, and the security. Yes, the security, but there is a trusting in Jesus Christ today. May the Holy Spirit spirit remind them remind them and remind us that the watchful eye of our lord jesus christ is upon us yes my friends the hand of almighty god the creator of the heavens and the earth is on us is on us today the life of father the, the, their life father i pray for every person under the song of my voice every one who's wondering what the future holds for them today the Holy Spirit today, Holy Spirit, I pray that you will give them strength, give them strength and understanding today, knowledge, knowledge and power and above all else today, I pray that you will give peace, peace of mind to them to remember that God is a good God all the time, let's give my hand, God is a good God all the time, may the light of God surrounds my brothers and sisters family relatives loved ones may your love may your love overwhelm them lord may your power protect them lord have my, my, my sisters and brothers and relatives and friends to know that whatever they they are going through god's presence can be found hallelujah so lord will you guard them with your presence today be father i plead the blood of jesus the blood of jesus in agreement with everyone who is listening to my voice regardless of what the circumstances say today or our uncertainty is in jesus christ hallelujah our hope our hope friends is in jesus christ yes hallelujah regardless of everything happening around us today hallelujah our certainty our certainty our faith is in jesus christ hallelujah regardless of the things going on in our world today beloved and friends you are you are lord and still in control you are still in your throne today father and you still a good god hallelujah you're the god who will never leave us hallelujah nor forsake us even unto the end of the world psalms 94 verse 19 says it clearly says in the multitude of my anxiety between me your comforts your comforts delights my soul yes in the middle of any uncertainty circumstances is Lord you still go you still go you're the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way hallelujah when we are surrounded by by the enemy the father you're the God you're the God who delivers you're the God who delivers should we find ourselves in a multitude of problems we call on the name of it that is above every other name and 
that uh, and that is the beautiful name the beautiful name of Jesus Christ uh, hallelujah praise God Lord we trust uh, we trust in you today we trust in you to make a way the father where there seems to be no way yes so God we ask you Lord Jesus uh, we ask you to, uh, to, to split the sea of uncertainty and speak the words, speak the words of peace. Be still, be still, and speak these words during this storm that we face right now. Hallelujah! Right now, in the name of Jesus, we trust in you to be, oh Father, to be the solution. We trust you today, Lord, to be the chain. Hallelujah! Break the chain breaker, Lord. We trust you to be the way out today for whatsoever it is, Lord. Lord, that comes that comes against us today just as I pray in agreement with everyone this morning listening I pray that you give us the strength today give us the strength to stand and not just not just to stand but to stand stand strong stand strong in the, in the unwaving unwaving feet Lord Jesus be with us as we walk as we walk by faith and not by sight give us the strength, give us the strength to hold on to the one, our only Savior, Jesus Christ today, hallelujah, you alone, Lord God Almighty, our rock and refuge, so Lord, we run, we run to you, we run to you, we pray for everyone who may be listening right now, they may be uncertainty about what to do, next, they might be, they might not know where to go, how to handle, what is in front of them but Lord I ask you I ask you you will give them wisdom give them clarity of mind today Lord Jesus for the one who may be listening today and they may be afraid afraid about what tomorrow holds for them for the future for their family I pray today I pray that they may know your word which says in Isaiah Isaiah it says for the tree verse one, but now, but now thus saith the Lord who created you, O Jacob, O Jacob, and who formed you, O, o Israel, hallelujah, fear not. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have redeemed you, I have called you, saith the Lord, by your name, I have called you by your name, you are mine, you are mine, you are mine, said the Lord, when we come to know this truth today, that we are, we are redeemed, we are redeemed and called by you, the Father, you are a just God, hallelujah, you hold tomorrows, you hold tomorrow. In, in your hands, oh Father. Yes, Lord, we thank you that you, you've got the whole world. You've got the whole world in your hands. You've got us all in your hands. Oh Father, today you've got us in your hands. And God, we thank you for hearing this prayer this morning. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Yes, Lord, give, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. And therefore do not worry saying what we shall eat or what we shall drink or what we shall wear or how we shall live for after all these things the Gentiles seek, seek for your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things but seek ye first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yes beloved and all these things all these things shall be added unto you therefore my friends do not worry do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day hallelujah for it's uh, it's his own it's own yes my friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah praise god thank you jesus psalms 91 verse 14 again trouble because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high yes because he has known my name said the lord he shall 
call upon me and I will answer him. Hallelujah. I will, I will be with him in trouble. Yes, I will deliver him. I will deliver him and honor him, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So blessed be the name of Jesus. Yes, in him, the multitude of my anxieties within me, me your comfort delight delights today your comfort delight in me hallelujah isaiah 43 verse 1 so will be be not thus saith the lord who created you O jacob O jacob and who formed you who formed you O israel fear not fear not for i have redeemed you i have redeemed you saith the lord I have called you by your name. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? You are called. You are called by his name, my friends. God knows you and he has called you. Do not worry. Worry is a sin. Worry is a sin today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you thanks. I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern and the working of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, I thank you today. Praise the Lord with this tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. There is a tremendous anointing in this building today. There is an awesome presence of God, the Holy Spirit, like in the day of Pentecost. And wherever you are today, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, on the street, with your phone in church, or right here today, today, today you can receive a miracle from the hands of God. God. Today you'll receive a blessing from the hands of God. Today you'll receive, you'll receive that healing, you'll receive that deliverance, you'll receive, you'll receive today from the hands of God. I know many are sick in the hospitals, many are sick in the dying beds with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. But today, my friends, you will not die. The man of God is back here to tell you that you will not die but you will live. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. God hands is upon your life. Yes, my friends and beloved, God hands is upon your life. So if you're suffering this morning from cancer, from AIDS, from COVID, from diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue, blood dialysis problem, prostate cancer, what the case may be, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety today is your day for a miracle and healing and deliverance in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah today God gonna touch you and heal you if you if you have a migraine headache God gonna touch you and heal you from that migraine headache if you have arthritis pain in your joints your elbows your knees your fingers your toes today God gonna touch you and heal you my friends if you have diabetes and you're pining away just skin and bone. God is touching your blood. God is touching that person right now. He's touching and setting your blood in order and you will not die but you will live and you will start gaining weight in the name of Jesus. That man with the cancer, God the Holy Spirit is burning out that cancer. He's burning out that cancer right now in the name of Jesus. He's healing the heart. He's healing the lungs. He's restoring that swinge of liver. He's restoring that shut down kidney. He's healing you from post cancer, yes, all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. The person with the growth in the stomach is gone right now with the tremendous anointing. I see in the spirit realm, people all over the world are receiving the healing right now in the name of Jesus. People right here are receiving the healing right now. Yes, my friend, Jesus Christ is the healer. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was 
bruises upon him and with the stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you Jesus oh blessed be the name of Jesus hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus oh blessed be the name of Jesus hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus hallelujah right now as I said for this anointing where if you are received right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness beloved it's the power of God it's the work of the Holy Spirit yes receive write me text me call me and go back to the doctors and let them check you you are healed in Jesus name praise God do not forget that my friends I never asked before to subscribe to my YouTube channel the name is energy damage and YouTube channel so whenever I preach on you whenever I preach live you're gonna get that message on YouTube yes subscribe to my YouTube channel also I have an next announcement I've started a new business a rental business I have a good quality of chairs the, the, the plastic chairs full of chairs also table triangle table round tables bins and baskets and so on and tents very strong tents I have also for rentals so you can spread the word around if your family have funeral rent if you have weddings or parties or get together or whatever function you have I have all the rentals for you tables cheer bins baskets yes tri rectangular triangular table round tables and the full of chairs and plastic chairs and all these things tents are available for rental so spread the word around I have a business that supply all these things God bless you richly do enjoy this special Thursday God bless you richly God bless you richly in the name of Jesus see you in the next session by the grace of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen praise God I love you very much in the love of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. Praise the Lord.